Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Collection Neo or Statue Forum if you're watching over there. My name is Alex and I'm here again with another review for you guys. Now we are going back into the slippery slope that is Marvel. Um, I recently reviewed the um, Sideshow Thorbreaker of Brimstone piece, but around the same time I actually picked up this guy. This is XM Studios Namor, it's a 1-4 scale piece um, from their Marvel line. Um, limited to only 388. Now most um, XM PCs um, are usually limited 999, but um, obviously l uh, more um, obscure characters, and I'd say Namor was one of them for now. Um, uh, obviously have a lower edition size, so Namor capped out at 388. Um, as you can see straight away, um, this review is slightly different because I've had to take my shelf out <laughs> and move the camera further back so I can get all this sucker in. It is a big statue, guys. This is one of those ones where they've done a less popular character but kind of gone all out on it, and I fucking love it because a lot of characters I like in Marvel are kind of obscure, so when they do something like this for Namor, i got to say I, I really fucking respect XM for this because it is a huge, huge piece straight off the bat. Um, this piece was like, you know, a 1,000 SGD, um, originally, which probably works out about seven, eight hundred bucks, but obviously with fees and shipping and all that sort of stuff on, you, it was originally selling for around a thousand pound, twelve hundred pound. Now the box of this guy is immense. It's the uh, same size as the XM Ultimate Swordsman, which is around seventy-eight by seventy-eight by fifty-four centimeters, from what I remember. But it's the weight on this one. Um, Namor himself weighs around twenty-seven kilo, but. With all the box and the packaging, it's a gross weight of around 42 kilo. So if you do get this shipped, you are going to have to go to a specialist to have it shipped. This actually, I actually got this in the UK. I picked it up for 450 pounds, which was fantastic. Um, but shipping was 60 quid. So that was inside the UK. So if you are shipping this or getting this internationally, the weight and the size really does up that price. Um, but like I say, I was super happy for gaining for the price I did, and I must say it's a pretty underrated piece from what I can tell. Um, now this being XM, of course, we get our handbook, which has got all the um, assembly instructions, and as you can see there, there are the pieces. So we've got Namor, we've got his wings, we've got a piece of the water, his um, trident, um, the octopus itself, um, a tentacle, and another piece of water. And all that, and then we go into a bit of um, reading, um, which I'm not going to read out. So a bit of origin for Namor, and all that sort of stuff. If you don't know um, Namor really from the comics, I started reading him really in the Defenders, um, with Hulk and Doctor Strange and Silver Surfer. Um, and then really got into Namor when uh, there was a couple of limited series which were really good. But then when he was brought into the X-Men, which was fantastic, and before that the Illuminati, um, all leading up to Planet Hulk. That's when I was really, really into Marvel, around 2006, 7, all the way up, running up to 2015, 16. And of course, this being XM, you do get a print. Um, I've actually got this in a frame, so it's a bit reflective, guys. But it's basically the same pose, but with it being XM, it's a very dark print. Um, I don't know if they stopped the prints now, but I do know they've actually stopped the handbooks. They're doing online stuff, which is a shame, really, because I always think of XM being a premium. And the book is nice. It is a nice bit, but to be honest, something like this doesn't really need it. But no more complicated pieces. I think Scorpion was the newest one where they didn't put the book in, and it's quite a complicated piece. Um, but yeah, so the books might have gone now. But um, right, let's um, pause. I'll zoom in, guys. We'll get some details on this um, rather ginormous and fantastic piece. So, guys, just before I start turning it, um, the actual footprint of this statue is split into a few pieces. So I'm going to take the pieces off um, because they're not on the laser shoes and I don't want to spin it because it's only held in by magnets. This is the sort of piece that once you've got it in place, you need to leave it there. And if you do move it, take the pieces off. So what we can do straight away is take off this huge tentacle. And we can have a look at that close up. Paints are simple, you know, because it's an octopus. 
but um, it looks like an octopus. Some nice details all around, textures are great on it. Um, the suckers look good. A bit more gloss here and there, I think, would have been nice because obviously it's coming out the water. So gloss on these um, suckers would have been cool. I might actually do that myself. Um, I'm not afraid to put a bit of gloss on something, so I'll put that over here. Somewhere. <laughs> Carefully. And then this piece of water here actually is a separate piece. It's on magnets. So there we go, just pulls away. And we've got this huge piece, lots of rubber padding on the bottom. And then we've got big magnets in there. Um, so once it's like I say, once it's on a flat surface, guys, it really does hold together well. It's so fucking huge. I'm going to have to take the trident out as well. It won't actually spin with the um, trident in place. So this is one piece. We'll actually go over this while I've got it in my hand. This top piece is actually metal. Um, and then the rest of the, it's actually polystone. I think this back piece is also metal. It's really nicely done. Fantastic texturing and paint on the hand and on the, um, the gauntlet. So let's take that bit out. It's going to be a bit of a dissection of this guys. But now let's um, spin it around and I'll show you the back piece as well. So all that, all the rest of this base now is one piece, the octopus. But what there is actually, but I haven't actually got it with me because it's in the box, is there, an, there is another piece which goes in here. So it's just water, but obviously this is the back of the statue, so the water only comes to about here. So if you're looking at it face on, you can't really see it. So I've actually left that piece off for display purposes, because if you put that piece on, it comes out to about here and adds about another six inches to the depth. So I was like, well, I don't really need it, I'm never going to see it. So I've left that piece in the box. Um, and as you could probably tell when you know the video started, you, you really couldn't see that piece was missing. But as you can see, the textures on the octopus are brilliant. You know, paint to, you know, I, I, do th I do wish these suckers were a bit more glossy. And honestly, I can understand why they didn't go for clear resin on the base. I think clear resin on all the water would have put this piece over the fucking top. It really would. I'm sure the price would have been a lot more as well. Um, to, you know, to mix this sort of thing with clear resin. I suppose the whole thing would have been cast in clear resin then painted. But um, it's obviously a lot more fragile. The water looks fine. You know, I don't think the paint's amazing on the water. It's all kind of one greeny, bluey colour with touches of white. You know, obviously it's supposed to be quite frothy because the, um, the octopus, I keep saying it's an octopus, it really is. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a crack and surely. Um, but, um, yeah, the octopus is rising up, so the water's supposed to be quite frothy. Now, if you don't know if you've noticed these amazing eyes, that these feel like glass. So obviously it's um, it's a flat image underneath, or it's been painted, and then there's a big piece of glass over the top, which gives it that look. And um, the eyes are a standout piece on the actual octopus for sure. And like I say, once all these pieces are in and it's on a big flat surface, you really can't see where the um, connections are. Let's go zoom in on that eye. Really, really nicely done. Whoop. Whoop. Really, really nicely done. Now, very nice and glossy. I think a, a gloss over the entire statue would probably look good, you know. Um, you know, to give it that wet look. I think it is missing it in places, you know. The top of the octopus and maybe just Namor's feet would have been good. I don't think I'm brave enough to do the entire statue, although I have done them before. But, um, you know, I've had, I suppose, you know, I haven't paid full price for this. Barely paid half price, so maybe it's something to look at in the future if I get brave enough. And we're going to adjust the tripod, guys. And then we'll have a look at um, the arrogant 
awesomeness of Namor himself. It's a fantastic pose, as you probably saw, the, the trident at the back of the head. Um, a lot of people said that the skin texture and the paint on Namor weren't great, but for me it's, it's as good as any other XM piece I've seen, especially these earlier pieces. You know, as, as lauded XM are for their, you know, their Magneto and um, that Fierce Phoenix um, and a few other pieces, they did a lot of rubbish pieces like their daredevil isn't great electra isn't great medusa isn't great um she hulk is only okay you know um craven isn't brilliant um and the price at the minute for xm pieces is reflecting this because there's a lot of those pieces you can pick up for 400 quid you know 500 bucks which is a lot less than what people are importing them for and I think with um, some of these lesser characters, everyone jumped on the bandwagon, like Black Bolt's one, that you know, one of my favourite characters. All these people jumped on the bandwagon and then realised that they don't really like Black Bolt or they've never really read him, it was just an XM thing. So those are the sorts of pieces that, you know, if you do like those characters now, um, there's no chance of Sideshow doing them. You know, so you can literally get in and pick those pieces up and like Namor, when you get down to it, they're actually really, really well done. The face is, re I really, really love the expression. Um, sort of emotionless. Um, the texture on the chest is really, really nice. Um, all the paints are, you know, simple XM paints, but you know, they do the job. I mean, XM to me have always been the same. They are like big Boeing designs, <laughs> you know, they keep that um, comic aesthetic which I think is what's kept them going all this time. Too much detail, too much going on, I think can take away from the um, comic aesthetics that people like. I mean, for me, the Boeing Namor is one of my favourite pieces, especially the, the um, black suit version. So to me, this is just like the next step for that, <laughs> that sort of piece, where it is just, you know, the same kind of thing, just a huge quarter scale piece on a ridiculous quarter scale base um, but yeah everything really expertly done by XM as usual very underrated even the suit and the musculature the sculpt's really nice um, the only thing that I do wish they'd done a little better and I will show you this while we're here is the wings and the feet they just sit in there's no peg, no magnets or anything, so literally I can just go boop and they pop out. They sit in by friction. Now saying that, I've just carried him over to you. See, that has not worked whatsoever. I was just about to say, I've carried him over and they haven't fell out. But I suppose it's just finding the sweet spot. Which obviously that was in before, but now I've taken it out. I've lost, there we go. But yeah, that could have been better. You expect better from um, XM again. Same with Prime 1, you're paying a premium price for a premium product. You expect it to pe feel premium. But apart from that, guys, it's, um, it's a bit of a winner. Especially if you can pick it up for that 450, 500 quid range. It's a hell of a lot of statue for the price. It really is. It really is a hell of a lot of statue. I'm just going to put the Trident back in. So you guys can get the full effect. There we go, Trident back in. And come up and level out for you a little bit but yeah i'm really 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 happy with him it's um, like i say one of my fave characters i do like these underwater characters and um, i'm so happy that prime one are doing the injustice um, to black manta because i do want to pick that up i'm just desperate for a really good aquaman now comic aquaman of course um but um yeah I'm very, very happy with this Namor, especially for the price. I think if I'd paid the full £1,000 on release, I think I'd be more bothered about the water and the paints on the water. Um, I do think that's the weakest part of the statue. The octopus, he's well painted, but I do think it could do some gloss and some sheen, some, you know, for the water effects, which, I, I, to be honest, I think I am going to touch up the base here and there and the, those suckers. I think they could do with a bit of gloss. But um, Namor himself, I think, is brilliant. And the, the face, especially, is really, really well done. Eyes, perfectly picked out, and I think the sculpt's pretty much bang on for a modern-looking Namor. 
Um, if you like, I say if you do want to read Nemo, I would definitely pick up the Illuminati. He's fantastic and that, such so fucking arrogant. And then obviously he does pop up again in um, a few other bits and bobs here and there. Um, hopefully, if the rumours are true that um, he's going to pop up in Doctor Strange or Black Panther Two, then um, you know this is the sort of piece that people will probably be clamouring for. But hey, who knows? It might even get him um, sideshow to do a piece. But um, yeah, very exciting. It's always nice when one of your favourite characters comes to the big screen, as long as they're done correctly. So I'm not going to put this guy on display because the only other piece I've got for, at the minute is Marvel as Thor. But um, hopefully when I do a collection update eventually, you'll see him then. Um, I don't know. I've got him in a place at the minute. It's a bit temporary um, along the back of the room. But um, I'm still trying to figure out where things are going and what's what. But there you go, guys. Quick look at... Well, I say quick look. 17-minute look at Namor from XM Studios. I can't recommend it enough if you can pick it up at the price I paid. Um, I wouldn't say... I'd say the water and the octopus is... Looking a little tiny bit long in the tooth now for the for, for, you know the thousand pound, um, eight hundred to a thousand pound um, price range, but um, you know compared to some newer stuff from Prime One and that. But um, if you can find him for you know four to six hundred pound, I would honestly, if you're a fan of the character and you want a one four representation of him, I don't think it's going to get much better. So there you go, guys. That's um, Namor from XM Studios. Um, very very happy with him and I will continue down the Marvel hole <laughs> I don't know what's going to be next in Marvel and DC land I am trying to pick up a Green Lantern but um, we'll see um, but yeah we'll see you next time guys thanks for watching and bye